at alert. Defend your land. Now the can raises the alarm over alleged military plan to carry out air raids. Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Unandi Kano has alleged a plan by men of the Nigerian army to carry out attacks on certain areas in Imo state. In a tweet on Wednesday, Kano urged residents of Umbiase, Mbano, and Obowo axis of the state to be at alert as there were reports that drones by the Nigerian army had been deployed to the areas. He also alleged that the soldiers were advancing with many hillocks, with many hillocks vans to the to the aforementioned areas. The, the separatist call on members of the Eastern Security Network to defend their lands from those he called terrorists in uniform. He, his twins read Danger, there is a confirmed report of sighting of at headquarters Nigerian Army drones over Umbiase, Mbano, and Obowo with many Hilux vans moving into this area right now. Men must be at alert to repel these terrorists in uniform. Imo State is the battleground. We must defend our land. Men must be at alert to repel these terrorists in uniform. Imo State is the battleground we must defend our land. Sahara reports calls that in February 2021, military fighter jets were deployed by the Nigerian Army and the Nigerian Air Force to all communities in Imo State. The fighter jets reportedly conducted area strikes and we are believed to be connected with the military's reserves. The, the dislodged the Eastern Security Network operative said to have stronghold in the forests. Nigeria soldiers are currently conducting area strikes in our areas. Many innocent lives may be lost. They are probably looking for ESN operatives who are checking the activities of killer flani headsmen, a community head had told Sahara reports. Sahara reporters last December reported that the Nigerian army deployed combat helicopters, helicopters, gun trucks, and soldiers to search for some suspected forest in the southeast state where the ESN launched by Unandikano was said to be camping. A video from the drones and hiding cameras believed to be installed by the ESN had captured the Nigerian army, army helicopters and their vehicles and soldiers searching for the camp of the ESN for possible arrest. Well, be as it may, this is a fight for survival. But is it the way out when there are troubles in the areas i believe that the federal government know all about this trouble you know all about the struggle but is this the way out i think it is not because continue to launch an attack on people who stand up to defend themselves, I think that is not the way out. The federal government is not doing it well. Because from what we are hearing, if it is true, lives of the innocent people will go down and properties is going to be destroyed. So, the Unamdikano uh, is alerting the people of Imo State especially the ESN, to be at alert because the Nigerian armies and Air Force has already planned to launch an attack where the ENS camp in the forest in Imo State. Right now, do they think that by launching this attack, is it the only the ESN member that is going to be killed? In fact, the residents in the area, the villagers, will not be able to stay in that place anymore. 
So I want to advise the federal government before you do anything, you have to search the area. You, you, you have to think about it, what you are going to do. Is it safer for the people living in that area? Because by carrying out, a, carrying out an attack, if you end up killing innocent people, I tell you, their blood will speak against you. That is to tell us that in Nigeria, in fact, there is no peace anymore. They are fighting. They are, I mean, struggle. There are crimes every day. All over the Federation, people cannot go about their businesses, those that have something doing. The news we are hearing every day is using an army or police or any security agency to attack IPO beings and Yoruba, and Yoruba who are agitating for their nation. So is that the way out? I think in the developed world, they have to call for dialogue. So that is the advice being given to the state government, and I mean to the, to the federal government. But it seems that the federal government has not conformed to, to, to what people are saying. Can you continue to fight war? Can you continue to destroy people's lives? and think this is the way out i believe this is not the way out why are people behaving as if they are not learned why are people behaving as if they are not attacking human beings why are people behaving is it because they are on top is it because they have weapon and people to fight today so so, so the government must understand that what is doing it will i mean the government will miss it all and the international world are, blame, are blaming the government of Muhammad Buhari because this is not the way out. That is not how to handle people. So to this end, I want to talk to the people of Imo State, most especially the area that is going to be affected right now. If you know this thing is coming in your area, you have to take over. You have to go out far to a safer place where you will be safe because by losing this attack, you don't know whom the bullet will hit. So this is the state of the country we are right now. But would this one get us any development? Will this one get us into anywhere? Will the international world clap hand for the, for the federal government of Nigeria? Will people say you have done so well? Will people say, ah, this is, a, this is a good government to embrace? Will people learn anything from you? So ask yourself those questions. If you think you are safe today, if you think you are on top there, and people are bowing to you, but I tell you, position or power is not forever. A day shall come, you will leave that place. And history will begin to tell about you. So we are urging the federal government to calm down and call these people that are agitating for self independent and begin to ask them questions what do they want why are they doing such a thing it is possible that the people that are agitating for it but they are not the one carrying out all those crimes it is not the Yoruba nations it is not the ipob but some other persons who does not like the present administration are carrying out all those dubious activities. This is what the, the, the government failed to know. So we are saying this. You better call on the people consigned and dialogue with them. That is the possible means as we can see.